Cone Bone Y. Good evening, Pathless. It is I, Logan the Mad Titan, and welcome to episode 34. Episode 34. 1, 2, 3, 4. Episode 34 of Enderall Forgotten Stories, the Skyrim conversion mod. Enderall Forgotten Stories. We were up on that tower over there. It's a beautiful, dreary, rainy days. This is the type of weather I typically enjoy. But not so much in the game because this game is so beautiful when it's not all rainy and dreary. It looks like we're in Windhelm. Uh, we were up on the tower with Yaspar, uh, and he he just doesn't shut up. So I had to come down out of the tower, and I was like, okay, well I'm out of I'm not on top with him anymore. And he you could still he's still repeating his NPC chatter over and over again, you know, singing and talking about a pipe. After he friend zoned me in the last episode, I got friend zoned by Sophia. In uh, beyond, uh, beyond Sky Room, and I got friend zoned by Sophia in uh, Fallout 76 Blind, Death, and Dumb. And then I, a couple days later, I do this and I get friend zoned by Yes Bar. So I'm striking out all over the place. Um, we, we, uh, we're still not officially in the order, and we have wasted some time with our date with him. So immediately gonna start off by hitting the wrong buttons. Um, Wait until Talar Anthreos prepared the ceremony. I don't know if somebody's going to, like, come up to me. It just says, wait a day. So, I don't know if I'm just supposed to wait a day. It technically hasn't been a full day. So, maybe... Yeah, I want to do that, but I can't find it. Maybe we will find something... That might be fun. Like, I, I don't know. Master Brewer Belen from Ark asked me to help. Like, this is kind of not a nice thing to do. Um, the Elixir. Miss Voice uh, told me to wait on that. Uh, speaking of that, I'll, I'll actually finish my intro for once without getting distracted. Uh, if you're new to the channel, those are Rosh Gona Gaijimas. If you're new to the series, says Jimmy Masche. And if you're a regular, like Mrs. Voice, like Aluin, like Teresa, like Clara like Daniel I don't think Daniel watches this series so saying him is probably silly but he's more of a Fallout guy than a Skyrim guy uh, Okai reading aside welcome home welcome back thank you for spending some time with me I greatly appreciate it honestly and truly more than you ever know Miss Voice had told me to wait until I was in the order to do this one so I will do that she also gave me some tips about where the waterfalls are but I didn't read it so yeah, I, that was a big fail on my part, being behind on doing comments, or replying to comments. Uh, I saw it, but didn't go in and actually read it, so I still kind of want to do this, but maybe we'll wait a little bit longer, because I feel like we, we progressed pretty far in the, that particular quest line, and I don't want to mess anything up. Uh, read the contracts on the notice board, touching, touching effigy, visit... All right, this one's come up a couple times where it just wants me to go check out Andrasta Brave Blood. Let's let's go talk to her, who's apparently over here somewhere. So that's fine. We will go find her in this dreary, dreary day. And uh, she has a museum or something. I'm sure she'll explain it. When we get there, I mean, I could have just used the bridge, <laughs> but now nah, I, I was, I wanted a swim, swim, nice little swimmy swim. If you are unawares, I have started doing a series. It's only uh, episode three, the day before this, which I thought was kind of appropriate for the rim. The rim is the. Uh, quest mod that came out before this and it's actually a quest mod for Oblivion and it's a conversion quest mod just like this where it takes Oblivion and turns it into a whole completely different game and I'm still pretty early on in it it's pretty fun it's pretty interesting and not really sure where the story's going there's a lot of wildlife around here but uh, it's it's still very new so if you want to jump in on that series, it's pretty easy to catch up on and see what it's like. It's uh, very interesting because just like Enderal, it's German. 
and a lot of the uh, well I should say all the voice acting is in German but it does have English subtitles saying that probably <laughs> scaring some people away um, where am I going let's look at the map because I, I failing miserably all right she's all the way up in the middle of nowhere like I'm gonna literally have to cut through the dark valley to get to her which I've not really been through so okay that will be interesting there should be a road is this the road where's this road I don't think I'm there yet I want to make a right I shouldn't really sleep because it's dark and dreary Especially if we're going into a place called the uh, Dark <laughs> the Dark Valley. We're going into the Dark Valley in the dark. Because I'm, I'm smart. This is a smart plan. We're just chasing all the wild. We have uh, Lucy in front of us. We have some elk or some deer in front of us. Gotta stop and grab every mushroom possible. But yeah, so far, I am definitely enjoying the rim. Um, it was a little bit challenging getting the controls to function correctly, and I still have a little bit of control issue. I actually have to use the mouse um, for some things while I'm playing, which I'm just kind of getting used to. It's not a huge problem. It actually, the mouse works really good for navigating the menus, like, you know, the inventory menus, like in here. I can't, the controller is very janky in there, but for just regular you know, movement and battle and things like that, the uh, controller works fine. Castle, I don't remember if I did anything in this castle. Alright, so now it looks like we should be going this way. Frostcliff Tavern, Borix Farm. I wonder what time it is it is oh, it's it's not even proper night yet <laughs> it's it's 10 o'clock it's not even like after midnight or anything so if I happen to come across a place for a quick night night a quick nappy nap I will take it I apologize miss voice for not reading the comments about the waterfall before I started this episode I intended on doing so we have another um, excuse me Rabbit box. Rabbit Lucy, why are you attacking me? Just a reminder, I say Lucy because my niece likes foxes or thinks she's a fox or I, I don't know. Something like that. Wrong time, wrong place! Is it though? Why did he take... Oh, I have a prophet's me. ass. Fucking coward. Ah! <laughs> Wow. Why did I take so long? Oops, hit the fence. Oh, you mean business, don't you? Alright then. Shot your friend in the back of the head. Yeah, you did. I thought I already killed these dudes. Highway woman dropping F bombs. Thanks for that. Greatly appreciated. Thought I had... Maybe they respawned? Or maybe I didn't actually kill everybody here previously. I thought I had. What's that bird noise? Search the vagrant. I can't even see him. But I'm searching him. I swear I... Maybe not. There's flower and other things. In there. I got distracted right before I was starting this episode. I am making a special meal for dinner. And uh, was focusing on that and forgot that I had wanted to read uh, through the comments. Cannot pick up that fork for some reason. So my apologies for that. I'll be sure to do so. Oh, and look, how convenient. A bed. Let's get some night-night. So that way we can have some light and see what we're doing. That's the other thing about the rim so far is it, it, it seems to be... Alright, now it wants me to go. Because I slept. 
maybe that maybe that's what it was waiting for it was waiting for me to sleep and now I slept but now I'm now I'm going to Erica so I wonder what happens if I if I no show the ceremony <laughs> I just don't yeah I still I swear I've been here before because that chest is empty so it's like certain things respawned and other things didn't all right so let's see if we can get to this guy is not scared of me or at least he wasn't at first let's see if we can get to Erica and find out what's going on with her now it kind of wants me to go that way um I mean I would be literally cutting straight through the dark valley kind of tempted to do it but Alright, we got some interesting stuff right here. Looks like Dwarven Ruins, but that's not a thing in Enderal as far as I know. So, I'm going to guess guys that want to murder me to death. Are you... Yeah, you want to fight? What are you? kind of like to know what, what people are before I start just murdering them. Oh, it's a wild mage. Okay. Oh, okay. I missed anyway. Alright. Alright, more than one. Two on one. This is not fair, guys. Burn! Burn in the sunfire! So, three on one? Come on. A two on one was not fair. Three on one is even less fair. And you're all you using like, the shields. wrong enemy, my friend. Yeah, apparently, because you're all using shields. We're having a mage off, and I'm losing. Alright. Alright. <laughs> this is not working. This is not working. Um, what do I got? I got a lot of stuff. Clearly, I cleared out my inventory between episodes as well. Like I always say, I'm gonna... I don't know. Oh, this looks terrible. I never use maces. <coughs> but do I really want to use this? Um, I don't know. Oh, I can dual wield? Alright, what if I go with mace? And a... Uh, what else? What else does damage? That's a great sword, so that's probably what a two-handed. Yeah. I've used a warhammer. Uh, that was when I did uh, two-handed with. Um, I'm trying to remember who it was Lizzie. Lizzie was uh, steel battle axe. Is that a two-handed? Yeah, it's a two-handed. All right, I don't ever use battle axes. I kind of would like to use the mace and another mace. Oh, I do have two maces. Alright, this one sucks, though. But alright, screw it. We're going to go mace and mace. Because it's ridiculous. Alright. Ah! You shouldn't have come here. Ah! Alright, I knocked her off a cliff. Ah! 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 Alright, this is not working very well. Okay. Was it was I using the wrong type of magic on them? Is that what was I was it was because it wasn't working. Um Alright, let's try. Alright, yeah, lightning. Yeah. Alright, much better. So fire. All right, you're using lightning. We're gonna have lightning off. Stop using shields. Lucky hit. Bro, can you throw some? Lucky hit. Finish them off. There we go. All right, lightning's working better. Where'd the other one go? I knocked her off the cliff, and she's she's just stuck down there. Oh, I got her? I thought I missed. Alright. So she couldn't get out of here. Let's see. Can I get out of here? 
Put your hands away. No, for real? This is funny because I got stuck like twice in the rim too. There we go. Alright. So, kind of didn't want to be down here though. Now there's wolves. Man, I didn't even kill him. Yeah, that's disappointing that that's not killing them. It's a wolf. So wait, it did better. It did good against the, the wild mages, but then it did not that great against the wolves. Okay. All right. What what else can we do? Man, that's rank three. Counter rank four. That's not the. It's not what I've been in here because I've been elementalism. Which one does the most damage? Does it not tell me which one does the most damage? Like, I have Flame Bite level 4. Isn't that what I had on? No, that wasn't what I had on. Okay. Alright, I wanted to check out that area a little bit better. But I kind of kind of fell off of it. No, I didn't fall. I kind of jumped off of it. Let's not lie. So if I wanted to get back up there, is there a way for me to do it? No? No looks like the answer. Oh, is that a lot of bears? I have a friend bear. I made him in one of the one of the last episodes. My God, there's a lot of mushrooms. I had this problem in uh, again only three episodes in on the rim. I, I keep I keep uh, grabbing all of the uh, the mushrooms and there's so many. So like I feel like no is the answer. Like if you get down from up here, wait maybe maybe. I stuck on oh my god am I stuck again Jesus I feel like it's actively attempting to discourage me from jumping around like there's a there's clearly a wall here why why can I not jump over this wall I'll go around the wall then <coughs> excuse me This is annoying. Alright, so where... Oh, okay. So I toasted the ancestral spirit. I feel like I've <laughs> deviated so far from <coughs> what I was attempting to do. Lord of the Lost Ones, huh? Lord of the Lost. Some cool stuff on them. And another ancient wisp mother. Oh, I level again. Sweet. I mean, this area is very interesting. Where am I? Am I like in the middle of the uh, dark? I am pretty much in the middle of the dark valley now. 
So not exactly how I planned to, to, to get through here. There's a chest over there. Come on. Use the stairs then. What is this? Giant shields or something? keep getting caught on the scenery. It's 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 driving me crazy. Alright, is that that looks like another one. Let's start. Got trapped in a corner. No one puts baby in the corner. Yeah that's right. That's right. I'm doing dirty dancing quotes. You got a problem with it? I used to play dirty dancing as a kid. It wasn't it wasn't by choice. <laughs> there was uh, right across the street from me were two young ladies that were very fond of dirty dancing. So yes, I got to play Patrick Swayze's role. Why can I not jump on this wall? What is happening? Really agitated with jumping issues. Right, there's a wall there. There's a there's a wall on the wall. <sighs> now I'm stuck behind a tree because they they don't want me on the wall. Apparently. Fine. Can we get? Can we just get down? Now it won't let me get down. Jesus. bird noise is going to drive me insane. Or at least I know not to look for it anymore, thanks to Lewin, because otherwise I'd still be doing that. What is that? It looks like some ice. Wait, are you live? Where'd he go? Use my fire to melt this, that'd be cool. Hey. Setting Robux on fire. Don't run away. I'm stealing the stuff from over here. Come on, robots. Robots in the sky. Warring robots blowing up in my face. All right, nothing, nothing. Oh, you guys aren't gonna have anything cool on you. Well, that's a bummer. All right, so some dwarven robots by a dwarven-looking thingamabobber. I got some stuff. There's a little house over here. Kind of looks like an inn. But I guess I've been there because it's already listed as detected. Alright, but then what's... What's up here? Yeah, I'll never learn. I'm always going to be trying to hop through the scenery even though they don't want me to. Alright, we got elk over there. Is it though? Come on, just walk into my fire. Fucking piece of shit! That's all you got? Kill, no, kill. Yep, that's all I got. I just killed two of your dudes already. With my rank four fire hands. You can't get me. Come on, could you jump? Man, I, I'm constantly being defeated by monastery. So we just discovered a monastery but with a bunch of marauders outside. 
That's what it said, right? The Monastery West Guard. Okay. Weird. And there's a bunch more stuff. There's stuff that way. There's stuff up there. And that's the way we're headed. I mean, in, in a very disjointed, roundabout way. Somehow, I found my way back to the road that we should be on to go where we're actually going. That's amusing. All right, we're very near a camp. Of some sort, we might detect. He just ran like full force right into me. Not really anything down there. A little bridge and some pier. Alright, what do we got? We're definitely gonna encounter this camp, it looks like. So we're right. It's gotta be like right. It's so big, but we're still not detecting it. A lot of ruins. It auto saved. Yeah, the camp's right up here. And I'm sure it's gonna have bad guys in it because. Oh, back here. Ow. 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 Alright, so another creepy Vatir lair. He's killing his own people, humans, spriggans. Elk, everything. He's murdering everything to death. I do find it interesting that they that they have their own like heads and stuff. They just, I guess, they don't have any loyalty even to themselves. Oh my god! Come on, you only have 57 more lockpicks left. Left. Come on. There you go, Slappy Joe. And a big chest. Massive chest. Ooh. It's a fancy mace, but yeah, I was absolutely terrible using using the maces. Oh my god. I don't even know if I killed all the mages back there because I, I jumped down to loot that body, not realizing that if I jumped down to loot her body that I would never be able to get back up to the top again. So where are we going now? Oh, hi. Thank you. Stop shooting me. Where are you? No, no, no. Stop it. Just die. Thank you. Okay. So we came around here. Just making sure we're not missing anything interesting is a wagon with a little a little uh a, and I immediately break. Oh my god. Gently Sir Sir, can you relax, sir? Thank you. Some rubies. I have a pretty awesome collection of gems and stuff. I don't. I have no idea what to do with them. I'm just collecting them and storing them in my box. Right, let's check, check real quick and make sure we're still headed the right way. We are still headed the right way. And it says there's a fort up over there. I don't know how we would get to that. I can see it. Are we gonna have a night night in the cart? Yes and no. I see it up. Well, I saw it up there. Now I lost it already. No idea how to get up there. I mean, I could probably use my uh, patented hump in the wall, jumping up technique. 
That always works fairly well for me, but we're trying to get to Erica. We will grab that ice claw that I just bought it. Did I actually call it the right name for once? I did. It only took 34 episodes. Ooh, sexy mind. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, this episode is not sponsored by Mountain Dew Baja Blast. The taste of a new generation. It's my favorite Mountain Dew flavor. Alright, so we have another camp. I, mean, I do want to detect places, so when we come across things, I do want to, you know, at least poke in and... All right, we got a willow, willow wisps, willow wispies in here. There are a lot of them. Yeah, you just keep, you just keep coming at me. Your ice on fire. I think I'm winning. Assault. Okay. One more. No, more than one. Alright, there's, there's a lot here. Okay. Woo! A lot of them bad boys. So if you wanted some mana salt or you need some mana salt, come here and uh, kill all these guys. Hands away. Just want to detect the camp. Let's see if we can break another lockpick immediately. Oh! I mean, it was a novice. So I should have been able to do it without breaking. Where is this? Like, man, I had to be right up on this. Alchemist abandoned camp discovered. Cool. More fancy boots. Some tomatoes. Hell yeah, I want some tomatoes. Coin purse. Assassin gloves. Read a note. Yes, I'd love to read a note. The first few days in these cursed forests seem to be more peaceful than the rumors had me expect. Where are the pathless ones everyone talks about? The bodies of those that died in battle. A certain depressing atmosphere, however, is undeniable. To know that once on this soil there had been such injustice, and now to walk along the graves of this ancient graveyard, it pains my mind when I go to sleep at night. My investigations, however, bore interesting fruits. The cave near my camp, which possibly served as a food depot for the Blood Moon Rebels, houses a much older, apparently undiscovered complex of ruins. Maybe the last ritual ground can be found. How exciting! Tomorrow I will promptly start the exploration of these buried and forgotten halls. I could trace the magic spell to the deserted cloister very close by. If I get to visit all ritual sites, the gates could open up by chance. What will wait me beyond? What's the purpose of this ancient building? Soon I will know. Very interesting. So somewhere around here there's a cave. And inside the cave... There is some uh, extra ruins or something. I don't know where the cave is. I do not have a cave compass icon. I mean, I just, again, ruins upon ruins upon ruins. Let's get back. Let's go back to the road. And continue. We're almost to Erica. I don't know why Erica's out here. Uh, more, more wispies. Bring it on, wispies. Trying to tag team me. I oh, appreciate it. Another ice claw. <coughs> My apologies for coughing as always. 
I really, really wish I uh, didn't still have to cough. I would love it if I didn't have to. Is this gold? It's moonstone. Subscribers. New subscriber Zens14. No idea what series you're watching, but if it happens to be this one, thank you so very much for the subscription. Otherwise, if you're watching this, hey, hey, yeah, you. Pl please consider subscribing if you have not done so. It would greatly help me. If, <laughs> if there's any way I can convince you to subscribe, uh, please let me know. I'll be uh, do my best to try to uh, make that happen. I love giving shoutouts. I love replying to comments. Um, I love interacting with the pathless that watch. Is this the way that we're going? Maybe? Or is this bringing up over there? I mean, I kind of want to go... That's not where the map is. This is not 76. Yeah, I kind of want to go to the right at this point. But... The roads look super janky here, so. Alright, so there's multiple Spriggans. Um, I'm not sure how to get where I'm. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to kill the Spriggan, because you're in my way. You're wood, I'm fire. This fight should be pretty, pretty quick. Did I get your friend's attention? I did. They, I was like, are they running away? They were definitely running away. Toasty! Alright. And they have taproot on them just like the regular Spriggans. Like, what are they called again? I'm sorry, I keep calling them Skyrim names. Wood Elementals. Again, I, I want to go... This way? I mean, is this literally where we're going? It looks like it might be. Yeah, the music changed. Like, can we, can we de detect this place? You're practically on top of it. Old water mill discovered. Okay. Erica, why are you here? Again with sneezing. I commented how I won like 300 episodes with never sneezing in an episode. And now it's, 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 uh, well that's not good. Erica, what, what's going on here? Why, why, why do you have, you got some splaining to do, Erica. Because I'm very confused about what's happening here. Had to kill a lot of things to get here. What is... Okay, well, I can't use fire. That's a problem. All right, what do I have here? Frost wind, freezing whirlwind does 41 damage. Erica. Erica, what what happened? I'm not let, I'm not going over to talk to you until I make sure there's no more surprises in here because I was not expecting a fire elemental. You were what, checking out some paintings? What were you doing here? Alright. Not really much. Hi. Well, well. Then my ears didn't trick me after all. So, to what do I owe the honor? You didn't come to rob a helpless woman, did you? If so, think twice. These guardians were only a mousetrap, metaphorically speaking. Oh, that's what it was. I didn't even remember what the quest was. Erica said, I wasn't looking for Erica this whole time. I was sent to say find her mom. <laughs> 
Uh, helps if I actually read what I'm doing. No, I didn't want to rob you. Your daughter Erica sent me. Did she now? Hmm. No, you don't seem to be lying. Well then, come on in. Who am I to dismiss a friend of my daughter? Sorry again for the Guardians. I have reason to be cautious, let's put it that way. These parts of the land aren't exactly the coves of Kilei, as you undoubtedly have noticed already. But it seems you know how to take care of yourself. Alright, real quick. That's not where quests are. How about I read it? I wandered around Ark. I met... When I wandered around Ark... See, I can't read, apparently. When I wandered around Ark, I met a young gallery owner, Erica Braveblood. She seemed upset upon talking to her. I learned the reason for that. Her mother... Yeah, now I remember this. A distinguished painter who is mainly drawing painter Ars Novos is living secluded in a dark valley. Cut off from the contact from her daughter months ago. And now the gallery is close to bankruptcy. I offered Erica... Uh, I offered to Erica that I would check in her mother to see if her mother was fine in her house. Yeah, see, in my head, I saw Erica, and then it was like, oh, I'm visiting Erica. And, no, it's I'm not I'm visiting... What was her mom's name? I forgot already. Andrasta. All right, Andrasta. Can I, can I get, get stuff out of this chest? Am I allowed? Yes, apparently I am. She doesn't care if I steal her stuff. So apparently you're a mage of some sort. Also, if you're casting fire elementals at me. What you got over here? Some popcorn. Some... That looks like, um... Uh, crack, cracker, cracker, cracker jacks. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it's called. Cracker jacks. Got a bowl of cracker jacks over there. Apparently, I can take all this stuff too. I'm not a klepto, I swear. There was no reason for me to take any of that. Ooh, what we got over here? Some more uh, cracker jack. Some tongs. Alright, just a bunch of stuff and things. I'll take that. Thank you. Happy birthday. Alright. So Andrasta, what's 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 up? What's going on, girl? Ma'am, miss, madam, mistress. Here we are. Welcome to my workshop. I would offer you something to drink, but you look as if you want to get straight to the point. So tell me. What troubles my dear Erica so much that she affords herself a mercenary? As far as I know, this gallery of hers isn't exactly a gold pit. She's worried. She says she hasn't heard from you in months. Ah, <sighs> which roughly translates as she needs new pictures because she has sold all the others. Poor girl. Business doesn't go so well, does it? She and her beloved Eshnu with their worried faces over a little pile of pennies. Oh, I can imagine it all too well. So let's make this short. The reason I haven't delivered has nothing to do with Erica. I have other problems to take care of at the moment, as I hinted at before. A robbery, to call the child by its name. One that has cost me a very precious piece. And... Hmm... Actually, it's quite convenient that you're here. What do you say? You get me that picture back, and I'll do my best to send Erica new paintings as soon as possible. Sounds fair. Any idea where the robbers went? Did you get a look at them? Oh, certainly. A good one. They were a young couple dressed in sinfully costly clothing and said they came to be portrayed. I should have gotten suspicious that they had no escort, but age makes you careless, I suppose. Anyway, I was just painting the pal when I felt a hit on my head. When I woke up, they were gone, together with a very dear painting of mine. I assume they ran for the Throatstone Quarry, at least judging from the trail, but it was already dark and despite all my magic, I have no desire to make acquaintance with hordes of lost ones or for tears. 
That's your job. Vatiras? Is that how you're supposed to say it? Throw a stone quarry. All right, then. I'll see if I could find anything. Your daughter told me you're quite the artist. What makes your painting so popular? Honestly, I'm not surprised you got robbed living in a place like this. Why don't you move someplace safer? One more thing. Are you really Erica's mother? You look so young. Oh, am I hitting on her? Um... Okay, let's start with this. Hmm, I believe it is the question every successful artist asks himself sooner or later, isn't it? I have two answers for it. Number one, it is this place. The blood that was spilled here. It is as if a part of the body's soul soaked into the ground with it. These souls have become part of the forest now, as bones eventually become soil again. That, combined with the certain talent I possess reflects in my paintings, they have... Essence, if you can call it that. That's the romantic explanation. The other one is that the Ark Nobles simply love to look at themselves, and <laughs> I have a hand for portraits. Good painters are hard to find. I mean, she kind of already answered this question. Uh, with that answer to the previous question, but sure. Oh, there are many reasons, none of which you would understand. Let's leave it at that. Right, is she a vampire? Oh, I get that a lot. One vial of child's blood, crushed dust maggot stingers, and dawn flower extract, well mixed up and regularly applied to the skin. I can only recommend it. Wait, out of everything that she just said, it's the Dawnflower juice that upsets me? Uh, of course I am. Jokes aside, thank you for the compliment. Hermit's life or not, everyone likes to hear such things once in a while. I guess my looks just run in the family. Alright, throw a stone quarry. Let's see if I can find anything. I'm sure anything. you will. Take care of yourself. I'll be right here. Doki. Well, should have figured it was I can sleep in her bed. Really? Well, I guess we'll be doing that because it's uh, nighttime and I would like it to be daytime. I don't know why I'm allowed to sleep in her bed. Maybe she really liked that compliment I gave her. I don't know. Thank you for letting me sleep in your bed. I'm going to go to... Deep Throat Quarry, or whatever it was called. See ya. Alright. So, hopefully this place isn't too massive, because I would like to get back to the Order and actually uh, officially join them. So, where are we going? Oh, dear. Is it trying to get me to go to the Myriad Tower? I mean, because if that's the case, I could go to this Myriad Tower, tower and then go to the Fogville Myriad Tower. Maybe. Didn't I make it daytime? Yeah, I slept in the middle of the night. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know how to tell time. Let's try that again. I'm I'm really sleepy. Really sleepy. Sorry, I need to borrow your bed again. Is that is that okay? You just I mean you're standing. So anything? No, I just I apparently don't know how to. Uh, I'm gonna sleep for 12, 12 more hours in your bed. <laughs> oh god. I thought that said 12 a.m., but I guess it was 12 p.m. Oops, a daisy. As Hugh Grant would say. All right. Let's try this again. There we go. Much better. All right. So if I'm going. I really want to go more that way. And there is stairs here. 
I guess she has a carpet on that part of the bridge. Where do these stairs go? Up to... up to nothing but there, there's definitely something here ghost wrapping and starling arrows and a big potion and uh, okay all kinds of good stuff up here and potatoes heck yeah all right now I'm at, like literally on the top of her house like what purpose does this serve ah magical symbol so, Teresa had asked, I believe, again, I, I saw part of a comment where she asked about the magical symbols, and I don't necessarily completely know what the point of them is, other than just to, something to find. And just like a little added thing for you to try to locate. So, the stairs didn't really help with my problem. My problem is that I kind of want to go this way. So, if I go back up the stairs, can I go left? I mean, it looks like the answer is no, but... Alright, something is nearby. Yeah, I forgot about that. This whole time. Alright. So that's not working well against them. Can we go back to fire? Ow! Why is there so many lost ones right outside her house? Oh, because I'm, I'm like in a graveyard now. Excuse me. Can one and or many of you die? Never mind who's shooting arrows at me. Stand still. And die. That's still not everybody. Goodbye. Alright, well that was exciting. There's totally a red X on the ground over there. I found treasure. More treasure. What am I finding? An emerald, some money, and a ring of stamina, and a skull. Okay. So yeah, I inadvertently just came right up on top of a uh, graveyard full of enemies. Which, uh... Wasn't super great. It's not, not the best, uh... best thing that happened to me today. But we survived. Oh, and there's a cool statue over here. Now we can kind of look around a little bit more. Look at this thing. That is impressive. Another massive chest. I have so much stuff that I need to sell. Ah, okay. Chance to do this again. So we want to go to items. We want to go to scrolls. Expert, yes. We want to use it, and then... Not super exciting for me, but still cool to have. So this is, uh, I believe this is Malthus again. And he's uh, pointing, and he's got his chain. He's the breaker of chains. He's the mother of dragons. And, oh wait, no, it's, it's Game of Thrones, I'm sorry. All right, so wait, we wanna go straight pretty much because I'm trying to get to that tower 
Let me fix my magic so that way we don't get in trouble and put my hands away. We got everything from here, right? Nothing else we could really do here, I don't think. Right, it kind of looks like there is a path. Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. See an ice claw over there, so we gotta go snag that. I can get to it. Where did it go? There it is. Totally looks like a road over there, right? Up these stairs. Yeah, this is working. That's the that should be the Myra Tower right up there. Let's get some. Oh no, honey. Bummer. Some bin root. No, I'm actually calling things by the right names. Twice in an episode? Oh my god. Oh, look how pretty. Now the sun's finally coming out for real, real. And maybe I've been here since the, that knapsack was empty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The barrel's not empty. Spare parts, just what I always wanted. right to it, which works out perfectly. Who's this dude? Who are you? Is a traveler? So ah, much to do. Look so at that. A fellow traveler. Stay on the roads. Do you hear any rumors or stories which could be interesting for an adventurer like me? Huh, let me think. I heard those prospectors talking about the old abandoned mining town up in the mountains, Northwind. They said that if you can handle yourself in a fight, you might still find some valuable stuff up there. I don't know. Maybe you want to go and take a look at it. Maybe? You have any stuff for trade? I found... I got some stuff. Do you have any stuff? You have? Well, sure. Let me see. Or tell me what you need. Okay, what does he got? He's got ambrosia. He's got... Fancy named arrows. Um... Special shield. Some spell tomes. I don't have this one. Ooh. Well, yes, please. He's got some good stuff. Alright. But now I just gave him a ton of money. So now we're going to have to sell some, <laughs> sell some, some things back to him. Because, uh... Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to give him that much money. Alright, so this one I've already done. So yes, yes, yes. Yes. Want my ingredients, but I don't need. Oh, I have to be careful in here because I sold that something last time. I didn't mean to sell. All right. Yeah, I'll keep the crafting books. Like I don't want to sell the ice claws either. I'll keep that. Beautiful. And potions. Now I can sell everything. So far, I want to keep those top ones. Basically, until I get my money back. He's got a lot of money, too. Let's let's go. Let's go all in on selling these potions. How are we looking? Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright. What else can we get rid of here? 
I know this isn't super exciting. I'm trying to go as quick as I can. But I want his money. And I'm carrying around all this junk anyway. almost got all of his money. Can I sort this by... Yeah, like this. Alright, so we're not going to be using... We, 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 know, <laughs> we know we're not going to be using maces. I'll keep the special one. We know... Uh, like, I might still use bow from time to time. So I'll keep the arrows. But I don't need all these arrows. Which ones are worth money? Let's sell the ones that are worth money. Battle axes, no. I only need one. I only really want one bow. What's the best bow I have? The room bow? Alright. Is that like a Roomba? Room bow? These are the jokes, people. How are we doing on money? Alright, we almost have all his money. Not quite there yet. All right, he only has 27 left. What can I do for 27? Iron sword, 18 left. Do not sell your pickaxe like you've done before. 14 left. I can go, s nope, don't sell that either. I can go four. And that's it. All right, so I'm gonna leave him with 10 cents. all you get no I'm not leaving with 10 sets forget that I lied give me your money all right he only has one cent left I'll leave him with one cent walk blessed Oh, wait, did he have more stuff to say? A fellow? Advice, you mean? Hey, let me think. Yeah, I recently heard of some guy in a tavern talk about some magic well. It's supposed to fulfill a wish if someone helps it or something like that. Who knows? Maybe there's some truth to it. I, there is. I found one. Walk blessed. Okay, so let's use the spell books and other things before I forget. All right, first things first. Carry weight is 457, so now it should be 458, 459, 460, alright, and we want books, books, alright, let's do these bad boys, boom, 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 boom. Nice. That was, that was more exciting than I thought it was going to be. And who are you? Oh, you're the, the Myra Keeper. Alright, we have to go pet the Myra first. Those are the rules. Hey, buddy. How's it going? How's it going? Do oh, you like some scratchings? You're just so nice. Did you pet your tail? Oh, it's a big tail. Okay. I want to go. I already forgot where I want to go. Down here, Fogville. Can you take me to Fogville? I swear I've already done this. Why does it keep loading up like it's like I've not asked it before? Sure. Where to? Fogville. Thank you. Woohoo! I'm riding a dragon. It's my dragon. Or it's my rat. I'm riding my rat. I mean it's. It's kind of like a dragon. It's like a dragon bird. So we'll see how ridiculous this dungeon is. If it's not like crazy ridiculous. We'll finish it. We'll try to finish this quest. And then we'll go back to the order. And hopefully they're not mad at me. Okay. So we're... Now that we're here. We're very close to where it wanted us to be. 
I give you some. I know you give me some love. There you go. Okay, so where where are we going? Can I zoom? It's like right. <laughs> oh, I love my way of getting to places. All right, so I am on the roof of this place. And yet somehow still have not detected it, which to me is very humorous. I just went right past the door, didn't I? I thought I was going to a cave or something. Throatstone processing plant. Alright, let's put on my new magic I just got. Alright, so we were using this 26 points of damage. 36 points of damage. Alright. Is that the best thing that I have? What's this do? 56. I want to use grounding. Grounding doesn't work against certain dudes. Like, there's no magic that works against everybody. But your grounding is that. Which makes me feel like Thor or Raiden. That's the one I want to use. But we've run into issues where we uh, couldn't use it. Alright, so we got a rat. I can kill a rat. And it's range. That was the other thing. It's unfortunately like I have to get close ish to use it where the other ones I can just uh Hadouken from across from across the way and take things out. Hey. Now we've had a couple of jumping puzzles or jumping uh, challenges so I'm like is there a way for me or a reason for me to jump up over there there are sacks but I don't know that there's anything in the sacks and I could probably waste an insane amount of time trying to jump over here when it's completely unnecessary alright let's stop screwing around we've got things to do Ooh, sack. Empty sack. We might be missing out on some flour. There's only one rat in here. Yeah, I'm making... Uh, I started to say it earlier, and that's why I got distracted. I'm making <laughs> what I will tentatively call fancy meatloaf. Fancy meatloaf for dinner. Very excited about it. I uh, talked about it in some other series just recently. I don't remember which one. Hopefully it wasn't this one. I'm not being redundant for repeating myself. But uh, in the past, I was not a very big fan of Milo. I mean, it's not like I didn't dislike it, but it was just always kind of like, meh. No, oh, it's meatloaf. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Well, it's food, you know, so it's, I'll eat it, but I'm not ever really excited about it. So I said, um, at the Vatiers from Dark Valley charged the wood processing site, we ordered the mages to secure the area. They conjured a monstrosity of pure ooze that keeps the beast at bay. It is imperative that every man and woman not qualified for guard duty keeps digging. We have to be finished by the time the steel crabs return with a new group of prospectors next month. Okay. Sure, I'll take that. I don't know what these little bags. Gunpowder, maybe? Alright, this is all... Can't do anything with any of it. What about this? That was a big piece of ore. I could take the giant one, but not the smaller one? That's funny. So yeah, I was just like verifying ahead of all the ingredients and getting a bunch of the ingredients out and getting them ready, so that way when I'm done with this, 
episode I could start making it. I found out we had a bunch of potatoes that are going. So we're going to make some uh, homemade mashed potatoes to go with it. That's my son Alex's specialty now. He made it for Thanksgiving this year for the first time, and it was very yummy. All right, so we got a trap. Another trap. <laughs> Spitting. Is he putting the moves on her? Is he singing to her? Oh, wild mages, huh? Alright. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't specifically wild mages. Finally, fun! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Can I jump down there, please? No? Excuse me, I was trying to jump down through the window, but apparently I can't for some reason. Shit! Oh, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me. Okay. No, could you stop turning the ash pile on top of the other ash piles? Thanks. Why can't I jump? I guess. Even crouched. Are you serious? Like. If you say so. I feel like I 100% should have been able to jump down there. Ooh, apples. All right, so I thought it was just gonna be like a like a Bonnie and Clyde situation going on here, guy and a girl. I mean, I took this guy out as soon as he stood up out of his chair. Can I take the mugs? I can sleep again. Books. I already have that one. Come on, where's Butcher Arc Volume Five? Dang it! Taking your giant blunt. Thank you. Anything else? Black powder. Okay. Took your thing of black powder also. More black powder. Are we going to be using the black powder for something? Because that's, that's a new item to me. Okay. Is that a pipe? Smoking pipe. I could give that to uh, Jaspar because he's always smoking his pipe. Pipe smoker. Some of these things I can pick up, some of these things I can't. It always kind of throws me off when some of them are real. Like that mug was real, but the other ones were not real. Or unpick or operable. Unpick upable. That sounded better than what I said the first time. Why is there still. Okay. Doesn't matter. Can't do anything with it. Ooh! Thank you. Alright, so. Yep, yeah, we're gonna fight. Okay. I wasn't sure. I'm taking your bucket. Thought we were, might be friends. Maybe I was setting you free. Oh no, the nails! Hey, whoa! That all you got? Yeah, leader. What's he got? Anything cool? Fancy name gauntlets. My claw damage in wolf form. Hmm. Well, considering I'm considering becoming a wolf, that might be interesting to use. I still have not decided. I'm also taking your witch's broom and your bucket. Is that a ruby? That is a ruby. Sweet. Put your hands away. Yeah, I was just thinking about it. If I'm pretending to be like, you know, 
Thor, like something like that. If I had a hammer, like a war hammer, that was enchanted with lightning damage, that would be perfect. done mining this episode? I feel like I've done a bunch of mining already this episode. Most mining ever. The mining in the rim is awesome. It's like, it's done in seconds. It's not super tedious. I like it a lot. What's that? Just a little platform. Brings you up there to some barrels. Alright, so where are we going now? No, it was in the boss's chambers. So he came out Somehow I missed his little area here. He came out and started hacking, whacking, and smacking on me. Keeper Bow of Arcane Wraith. I mean, that's an awesome name. Does 13 points of shock damage to health and half as much to mana. That, that's a cool bow. And it looks cool, too. I mean, maybe I could switch it up a little bit. I could be a, uh, a God of Thunder that uses a, a, a bow from time to time instead of a hammer. God of Lightning. Whatever. Both. Alright, so this is the picture. It says Interact. Oh, I forgot. It doesn't say Pick Up. It says Interact. Why does it say Interact? A suspicious feeling. <laughs> I'm suspicious of picking this up now. Oh my god, I wanted the bread! Get up! It's not time for a rest. The bread's not real. That's why. Faking me out. Fake bread. Okay. Let's read this note before I pick up that book. At the next full moon, we will transport the shipment through the old port of Fogville. Just like that, we should be gone before the still crabs come back. I have the apprehension that the weird ruin we have discovered will rather draw their interest. Reputedly, they have been exploring the places like that for some time now. Even if they don't allow trespassing, then trespassing them, I instructed the men and women to avoid the ruin. The ruin is strange. It's almost as if something living would watch us. That seems directly tied into the information we got from Nelkos. Alright, let's interact. Wait! Wait! You're not one of the bandits, are you? You have to help me! <laughs> Am I talking to a painting? No! That, that, that is... You are, but I'm a person. Only that she trapped me in here. This wild mage, this witch, Andrasta, she did this. Really? Leaf, my companion, she managed to knock her out and flee with me. But then there were these bandits. And they... They killed her. Oh, my Malthus. My Leaf. They killed her. I'm sorry, my man. That's That sucks. And now you're trapped in a painting, apparently. Wait, you said Andrasta trapped you inside that picture? Well, you're talking to a painting, aren't you? Apparently. <sighs> I'm sorry. I... I'm just done with this. Andrasta. This is what she does, you know. She takes away people's essence and locks it inside these paintings of hers. This is why they feel so... Vibrant, or whatever you want to call it. Normally you wouldn't be able to talk with me, but Leaf stopped her before she could trap me completely. Still, not soon enough. Alright, alright, calm down. Tell me everything from the beginning. Leaf and I were... were mercenaries. Witch hunters from Arasio. 
Talgul, to be precise. We had the... Well, that things are turbulent here in Enderol at the moment. So we thought we would make passage and try our luck here. Who hired you to find Andrasta? One of those sublime from Ark. He didn't want to tell us his name because he was afraid. At first I thought he was exaggerating, but now I know better. Andrasta. She hates Ark, you know. She hates the nobles more than anything in this world. She says they are decadent and care about nothing other than their pennies and their latest haircut, while people have to live like rats in the Undercity. And she's a wild mage. A psionic, to be precise. Apparently she's a conjurer, too, because she definitely had conjured a fire, uh, whatchamacallit, to uh, protect her. So she's a vigilant? Or vigilante? She finds the nobles to paint and then kills them with magic? No. She waits for them to come to her. Do you know what people pay for a painting by her? A worker could buy a house with that money. And she says whoever is willing to waste that much money on vanity doesn't deserve to live. Nobody notices anything different in the beginning, you know? The people she paints, they behave like always. But in reality, they are no more than lost ones. Puppets without a will who go about their daily business. And then, usually a couple of moons after the painting, they die. Suicide. A heart attack. Nothing anyone could trace back to Andrasta. That's what's so horrible about it. In any case, our employer, he somehow found out, and he hired me and Leaf to put an end to her atrocities, once and for all. Hmm, I assume the reason she looks so young has something to do with the paintings too, doesn't it? I suppose so, yes. I don't know how it works, and truth be told, I don't want to. I just want to get out of here and make her pay. I see. So this noble hired you to kill Andrasta. What happened? We pretended we were customers. She painted me <coughs> first. Leaf noticed too late what was happening, but she managed to overthrow her. Then she took the painting and ran. Ah. <sighs> We would have both gotten away if it hadn't been for those damn highwaymen. Oh, Leaf. I... I just can't believe it. Please. You... You have to bring me to Andrasta's house and kill her. I think I know how I can break the spell and get back into my body. But she needs to be dead for that. Please. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. We have to do this for Leaf. Well, that's way more interesting than what it seemed like it was going to be. So now I have a decision to make. Like, what does it actually say for the quest? Just says conf confront her. So, oh, okay. I get confused I'm, with the crystals. I'm like, I, I can't never tell which ones are the ones that are going to hurt me or not hurt me. Because I 100% thought these were ones that were going to hurt me. And I also went clearly went the wrong way. For some reason, I thought this was the way out. Alright, now I'm really disoriented. I came from up there. That's what it was. Okay. Sheesh. So there was a little down, but this is the way out. Anything in here? Nope. Alright. 
well. Um, hmm. I guess... Give me some more time to think about it. We can go to the... Uh, and do the order ceremony. We're closer to uh, where, where we need to be to do that. We could also always use the Myrad to get there as well. If so we look at the map, yeah, there's no quick way to get back there, but we're right by here, so we could go in and turn this off, and then go back here, and then use the... Myra Tower Arc. Looks like the closest one. Alright, so. Now the question is though. The <laughs> Myra Tower is up there. <laughs> and I am not up there. Oh god. So. How am I going to get up there? Oh! Okay. Oh, more wild mages. Okay. Can I electrocute you? <coughs> Yay, I can. What you got? Void salts? You salty? Alright, well, I can go in over here. Is there a reason to go in over here? It just looks like a house. It's gonna be a house full of wild mages. Having wild parties. I kind of want to get a quick peek. There's totally another house over there. Uh, that house looks familiar. Like, I've been to that house, but then somehow maybe I didn't finish coming up here. Alright. Well, we might as well pop in here real quick. Small deposit. again. Alright, I have a lot of <laughs> I have a lot of leveling stuff to do in between episodes. So, I think uh, by the next episode I will be a werewolf. Unless uh, I make some drastically different decisions uh, than what I was considering doing. You can let me know in the comments uh, if you think that's a good idea, bad idea. I mean... I'll probably still do it, regardless of what you say, but I'm always interested in knowing, you know, if I'm going to make a bad, you know, a bad choice, the consequences of my, of my choice, like if I become a werewolf, does it make it so that way, like I can't do a bunch of cool stuff, should I wait to be a werewolf? I always say, uh, it's, just, it's just empty bottles, I'm just picking up empty bottle after empty bottle, Another empty bottle for no for no reason. Just just no reason for me to be doing this. But I'm doing it anyway. Alright, so again, it was just a place full of dudes. Hanging out. Drinking. 
getting jiggy with it. Put some hay. Hey. Somehow I'm stuck. Again. Forever stuck. That's what I feel about carts. Alright, what's over here? Anybody else? Did somebody else not join the party? Look, they were they just said they literally set up house here. It's really inconsistent, which like what bags and sacks I can click on, which ones I can't. It's very confusing. Anybody else? Mm, nope. It was like one second. Could we? Could the lockpick last longer than one second, please? I mean, it was like a millisecond. It wasn't even like I just just started to touch it, and it immediately broke. All right. Well, it was a little, you know, small handful of loot in here. Not really anything super exciting. We can get some underoos, some long johns. We're going to check that other house real quick. I'm pretty sure we've already been in that one. I mean, it looks familiar to me. Like we were coming up that road. And we have detected everything ahead of where we are. Wait, what? Oh. Maybe not. I, that totally confused me. And in store cabin. Really? Oh my god. Every Every place has a basement. I still think we've been in here, though. Didn't we find, like, a cool sword down here or something? I mean, maybe not. still feel like we, might, we probably were already here and that's why it doesn't seem like there's any point to be here now because we've already been here previously and some things just respawned okay so if we're trying to get to the myra tower can we get to it i would like to use it just to get back where we were but like i said it's up there Not sure if we're gonna be able to get there. Is there a way? Oh my god, what? Ha! Get him out of here! Get him out of car! Oh, that'd be a lot of hip hopping. It does look like there's like this land bridge thing going over. But is there any way to. Now we found the mill.
Nobody in the mill? I mean, if it's just flour. Okay. Randomly just some money. Thanks for the money. Alright, so if I ever need flour, this is the place to come to. Because it's full of flour. And a murder basement. Oh my god, because of course there is. Book of poetry. Alright. It's oh it says pit. Wrong oh, yeah. time, wrong place. Huh? Oh, no! He's out there. Oh my god, there's one over here. Oh, no. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure that that mage just just took that dude out, not me. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she hit him with like a fireball or something in the back and took him out. All right. Well, there was a lot of them down here, hanging out. Nobody upstairs, and a lot of them down here. They really like flower. The flower bandits, the flower marauders. They're done. I toasted them all. This looks like it would make a real. Now. Ooh. A valve. Valves are exciting. I don't know. Kind of want to turn it, but I don't know what it what it will do. Kill him. He talks to me like that again. And did him while he's sleeping. <laughs> That's an oh, awesome song. His meat. See how he likes that. <laughs> oh, that's great. We can't see. Oh, whoa. How did I get on the outside of that railing? Alright, well, I guess I'm just jumping right down. Just a scratch. I didn't really want to kill him. He was he was entertaining. Somehow his fire blast knocked me uh, to the wrong side of the railing, though. I don't know how that even happened. All right. This place is huge, and I'm a little discombobulated now because I fell. Up there, now I'm down here. I can go even further down. I was trying to get back to do the order thing, I, I swear. I was trying, it's very easy to get sidetracked. Especially when you're me. Ooh, butterfly! Alright, is this bringing me back up to where we came in? Staff of Fireball. It looks like it is. Okay. So technically, somehow I got knocked over from the one side to the other, but I'd be going down there anyway to see... Because it looks like this is the way that it goes. Why this area is so big, I'm unsure. Oh, to another trap door. Oh! Oh! Yes! Alright. Not apologizing anymore. My wanderlust. My, uh... Easily distractedness has paid off once again. Once again, I have the next volume of the Butcher Bark. I am very excited because I really want to know where the story is going. And um, Cliff of Fog. Oh, oh it's loud. Let's 
we came out all the way up here. Okay. So I guess the question is, I'm still underneath this. I was like, I thought it might be on top of that. If I was on top of it, then I could use it. Oh god. To try to get back up over there. It's like literally the only thing holding me back right now is getting to that tower over there. I mean, can I go can I keep going up this way? No? Like I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the right height now, but I'm on the wrong, the wrong side. What I was hoping was that I'd be able to get up and cross over there, but it doesn't look like it's in the cards. Dang, nabbit! Am I complicating this more than I need to be? Is there a way to get up from here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Not if I can't even jump up the small little bit of rocks. Yeah, like, how do I get... Maybe falling down there wasn't the smartest thing. That might be that might have been where I needed to be. Let's try that again. Alright, there's a little and then I can go around. And then up. Come on. And then up. And then up. Alright. I feel like I was doing so well, and then now I'm just not progressing. Alright. It definitely looks like there's a way to do this. came over here for the potion. I swear to God we could, at some point in time, we could collect these eyeball things. I can't. Weird. This is, oh my, wait, do I have, I think I have a master lock one. I think I do, ah, yes, I do. Is it worth it? Summon Elemental Wolf, that's kind of cool, especially if I'm going to go to the whole werewolf type theme. Being able to summon a wolf to fight with me could be fun. And what do we got here? A bow, some arrows, an empty skeleton, and a shipment. 
So Rana, you poophead, you, <laughs> you know exactly that I can't handle the bow. Do you really think you're being funny by hiding the key up in here? Stonecutter Frosh lag will kill me if I don't bring it back. He was looking for a, a key. I didn't find a key. I found a bow, arrows, his skeleton, which is empty. But no key. So I'm not sure what key he's referencing. So if I was supposed to find a key, I did not see the key. Not really sure what the point of coming down here was. Oh, is it in the bucket? Yes, it was. Alright, but that's a chest key, so I'm guessing that it was for this chest. So I used my spell, I could have used the key. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. That was cute. I'm going to spend the entire rest of the episode trying to figure out how to <laughs> get back. I mean, like I said, I could just randomly start trying to jump up the side of the mountain. If I saw any indication that there was a path, I would take it. I'm not seeing it. It does kind of look like we can get around this mountain. Maybe? <coughs> Alright. Another cave we go into. Oh, this, this wolf and this uh, elk are friends. That's interesting. Wait, where did you come from? Oh, I got gangrene? No. No. That's disappointing. Because I really don't want gangrene. Why are we playing the I'm being attacked to still music? What are, what's attacking me now? Oh, okay. Fucking piece right, of hey, shit! Hey, hey, oh. <sighs> you what? Pay for that. That's all you got? <laughs> Listen, that was your own lady that was setting you on fire. Again. I'm using electricity. She was setting you on fire, not me. So what are you getting mad at me for? Oh my god, again, one second. I broke more lockpicks. This episode, I think, than any other episode, going for a record of lockpick breakage. Uh, on the bright side, I keep getting them back. That's what's funny. I don't know, I keep looking. This is a cool waterfall. Who knows, that could be the one that Mrs. Voice wrote me about that I was too much of a knucklehead to read. To know for sure if that was it. Alright, there's a whole little like, port down there. Again, not, not what I'm trying to do, but it does look like there's stairs to go up. Or a path, I should say, not really stairs. So let's try to run and see. I have cane green. Uh I only have one uh, cure-all potion with me, so I will save it for now. Oh, what are you? Arp. And yes, Mrs. Voice, again, I did see the the comment that you made about the, um, 
I believe it was you who bought the Cybercat. The Cybercat. The uh, Sabercat, excuse me. Uh, yes, I did put on some mods that I had completely forgotten <laughs> to change the appearance of things back to what they were originally intended to look like, or something. at least that's what my understanding of the mods was, so if that's not right, I don't know. Please stop shooting. I tried to make it so that way there was less Skyrim-y looking uh, enemies. Where do, where do the bones go? Lost the other bones. And there's totally a path here. Well, anyway, I made it back to the Myra Tower, so there was there was a path. If I if I had not just jumped down the side of the mountain like a crazy person. I would have known that there was a path that I could have taken to get down. And there's actually something to discover on the way, which I've not discovered because I just jumped out of the mountain like a crazy person. The bridge. So I actually would have went over the bridge to get where I was going. Instead of, you know, YOLOing uh, onto the roof of that house. Finally, some fun. I mean, I just, I just killed your lady. Maybe you should just run next time. What is going on up here? What is that? Mighty West. What is a Mighty West? Two of them there? Can't even see them that well. They only have mana slots too, okay. Alright, mighty wisps. Regular wisps. So you guys are just hanging out just up here with the treasure chest. That I guessing you killed some oh wait a blueprint. Pyrene helmet. So I can make Pyrene helmets if I ever get on board with the handicraft. I find it odd sometimes when there's enemies so close to other enemies, like the the wisps, the mighty wisps and them, they didn't want to rumble. Yeah, so this bridge goes over, but it goes to like a whole whole different area. Yeah, look, I almost made it back to this Myra Tower. That's hilarious. Alright, what was the one I wanted to go to anyway? I wanted to go to. My right tower R. All right, well, Mazel, go this way since we're close to this one. Are you my friend? No. Now I know you probably asked yourself, why do I think everyone's my friend? Uh, I don't know. He could have traveled from one place to another. Friggin, you didn't see me kill your bear friend? Wood elemental, excuse me. Alright, so wood versus electricity, electricity wins. Anything else? So there's a lot of enemies on this road. Sheesh. I'm just trying to get to the Myra Tower. Oh, wait, I heard. I heard some for a second. No? I swear I hear it. Right now I feel like I'm crazy. Right, where are you? I saw you. Now we really are in Windhelm. Alright, so we got a Skelly with a jewelry box. Okay. Thanks for the jewelry, I guess. Alright, where where are we? 
me, we were extremely close to the, uh, it's like right over there. What the? Oh, oh Traveler no. up ahead. Get him! Excuse me. You guys need to stop trying to set booby traps for me. It's not working. And then you just end up dead. Oh, a pretzel? Is that a pretzel? I can't take the pretzel. Where did the pretzel go? I see it. It's on the ground. Pretzel. This is a German game. It has pretzels in it. It's the first time I've seen a pretzel. All right. Sure. Can we please get to the Myrad Tower. Which it should be right here somewhere. I don't see it yet. Oh, who killed the bunny? That's oh, not that. It's just acting weird. Where is the Myrad Tower? There he is. Yeah, this 100% looks like Wind Windhelm or Winterhold or both. All right, I need to go to Ark. Can you take me to Ark, please? Walk blessed, friend. Sure. Where to? Ark. Ark. I think it was just this one. Fly, my red will fly. I believe I can fly. Please don't subscribe. <laughs> I think about it every night and day. I spread my wings and fly away. All right, my sir. Hmm. Can oh. I help you? No, I almost just jumped off the steps though. All right. <sighs> <laughs> I agree with him. All right. Hear my words, oh, path hear of my words, people of oh, path of biting people of this city. Oh, you're not from here, are you? No, I am not. I heard you talk. You heard me talk? Trying to say I have an accent? My sir, hear my words, path abiding citizen of this fair city. A penny, my sir. Bro, I've given you so many pennies. Penny. I've given you so many pennies. Thank you. That's really generous. May his light guide you. <coughs> I miss voice. I'm sorry, I'm coughing my brains up. Miss voice, miss voice. I think I just got it. I just got the permanent blessing Tastes that you talked like about. Cherries. Lo, how that bosoms make me languish. Oh no, this guy with his mm -hmm. taste like cherries and everything. That's a waterfall. <laughs> this has to be the right door, right? Yeah. I'll still keep giving the, the, the beggars money, even though I already got the thing. Just to prove how good of a guy Odin's son really is. His name, his full name is, is Thor. Thor, Thor Odinson. This is holy ground, oh Outlander. My God, I you know. don't belong here. That's why here. Superman's up here. Check out yes. his cage. My sir. Listen, I'm trying, just trying to get back for this ceremony. I'm hoping I'm not too late. I wasn't paying attention to the time. I had a 
go witch hunting and all kinds of other things. Alright. Where is this? Here's my slow jam. Ooh, we're playing in the wrong. Alright, where are we going? In here? Listen, I made it. It took the entire <laughs> it took the entire episode. But I made it. Finally. Finally I made it. Where am I going? In here? Where am I going? I don't know what to do. Finally. Come with me. Oh. Uh why so hard? <sighs> Forget about it. Okay. I guess it was him I was looking for. Sorry, man. I was hunting a witch. Oh. Yes, it makes sense. And other stuff. I was talking to a painting. It was pretty wild. There. Climb the stairs. Go to the statue and speak with the Grand Master. No idle talking, no stupid gazing, right? Uh, I mean, I don't have a choice, yes. Very well. The entire third and fourth sigils are gathered in there, so show some respect. And now, walk blessed, brother. Well, let me tell you something, brother. When I get up there... You don't even know what's going to happen when these 24-inch pythons go wild on you. Alright, so my apologies for taking the entire extra long episode to actually get get here where we're supposed to be. But I think it was fun. I, I had a good time. I hope you had a good time with me. Um, this was episode 34 of Enderall Forgotten Stories. I'm busy stealing all these books because you know how I roll. I am Loki the Mad Titan. With all that being said, I bid you adieu. Goodbye and good night, Pathless. Thank you so very much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Have a good night.